In the heart of the rural town of Milford, enveloped by vast cornfields that stretched across the horizon, lay the unsettling legend of the cornfield abduction. It was a chilling tale whispered among the townsfolk, a story that spoke of inexplicable disappearances haunting the labyrinthine rows of the cornfields. The legend traced back to a series of baffling events that unfolded years ago. It began with the mysterious disappearance of a young couple, Anna and Jacob, who ventured into the cornfields on a moonlit summer evening, never to return. Their absence sent shockwaves through the town, igniting speculation and fear within the community. Desperate searches yielded no trace of the missing couple, leaving behind only cryptic clues, an abandoned flashlight near the edge of the cornfields and fragmented footprints leading into the rows. As the town grappled with the unresolved mystery, more incidents emerged. Reports surfaced of strange occurrences, a disorienting sense of being watched while traversing the cornfields, peculiar lights flickering among the stalks, and an ominous aura that hung over the fields, fueling the folklore of the cornfield abduction. Detective Benjamin Hayes, haunted by the unsolved cases, devoted himself to unraveling the enigma shrouding the cornfields. He delved into the labyrinthine paths, studying the patterns of disappearances and seeking clues that might reveal the truth behind the unsettling legend. Among the townsfolk, tales of strange encounters and fleeting glimpses of elusive figures among the cornstalks spread like wildfire. Many attributed the phenomenon to extraterrestrial activity or clandestine experiments, while others believed in a more terrestrial, albeit unknown threat, lurking amidst the rows. Amidst the speculations, Lydia Campbell, an inquisitive young reporter eager to uncover the truth, arrived in Milford. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, Lydia embarked on an investigation into the cornfield abduction, determined to unravel the chilling mystery. Guided by the folklore, Lydia ventured into the cornfields, her footsteps echoing through the silent rows. The moon cast an eerie glow upon the sprawling expanse, creating haunting silhouettes that danced amidst the swaying stalks. As Lydia navigated the labyrinth of the cornfields, an unsettling sensation of being watched enveloped her. Faint whispers carried by the rustling leaves seemed to echo cryptic messages through the night, heightening her sense of trepidation. In a chilling moment, Lydia stumbled upon a clearing in the heart of the cornfield, a subtle anomaly amidst the rows. Strange markings etched into the soil caught her attention, an intricate pattern reminiscent of the tales surrounding the abductions. Before she could decipher the cryptic symbols, an inexplicable force gripped Lydia, engulfing her in an ethereal aura. Panic surged through her veins as she realized the impending danger lurking within the cornfields. In a harrowing crescendo, the rows around Lydia seemed to warp and distort, an unsettling transformation that defied reality. She found herself ensnared within a tight grip, an unseen force that rendered her powerless. In a final moment of horror, Lydia's cries pierced the night before the rows of corn enveloped her, swallowing her whole. The silence that followed echoed with a haunting emptiness, leaving behind only whispers of the terrifying fate that befell those who dared to tread into the sinister depths of the cornfield abduction. Story 2 In the heart of the countryside nestled the serene farming town of Millfield, renowned for its sprawling fields that stretched as far as the eye could see. Among these fertile expanses, one plot held a dark reputation, Holton's Field. Once a thriving land that yielded bountiful harvests, it now lay barren, haunted by an ominous curse that lingered like an unspoken secret among the townsfolk. Whispers of the curse stemmed from the tragic tale of Old Man Holton, the land's former owner whose fate had become entwined with the cursed acres. Legends spoke of a Faustian bargain struck between Holton and a mysterious stranger, sealing the land's doom with an unbreakable curse that condemned it to wither and decay. Nathan Monroe, an ambitious farmer driven by a passion to restore the land's lost vitality, seized the opportunity to purchase Holton's field, undeterred by the warnings and superstition shrouding its history. Determined to defy the curse and resurrect the dying acres, Nathan set out on a mission to breathe new life into the desolate soil. As Nathan plowed the fallow fields and sowed the seeds of hope, the air crackled with anticipation. Tender shoots emerged from the once barren earth, a glimmer of promise amidst the cursed land. The townsfolk, skeptical yet hopeful, 
watched with cautious optimism as the land seemed to respond to Nathan's unwavering dedication. However, the burgeoning promise soon gave way to dread signs that hinted at the curse's spiteful presence. Whispers spread throughout Millfield of peculiar occurrences, strange shapes etched by moonlight on the desolate landscape, spectral rustlings that echoed through the night, and an unnerving aura that enveloped the field. As the crops flourished, so did the ominous undertones. Reports surfaced of shadowy figures lurking among the rows, their elusive forms seemingly shifting and vanishing into the cornstalks. Fear crept insidiously through the town. The legend of Old Man Holton's curse resurrected, casting a haunting pall over the community. Undeterred by the mounting unease, Nathan forged ahead, driven by an unyielding determination to witness the transformation of the cursed acres. The ripening cornfield swayed in the gentle autumn breeze, a haunting symphony that filled the air with an unsettling melody. Yet it was on the eve of the harvest when the town's darkest fears materialized. The harvest moon ascended, casting an odd glow over Holton's field, as an ethereal fog enveloped the land, concealing it in a strange haze. The once promising crops now bore a ghastly countenance, twisted and contorted stalks warped and mutated beyond recognition. A disconcerting chill gripped Nathan's heart as the fields transformed, an unnatural metamorphosis that defied explanation. Sinister shadows danced amidst the twisted rows, their ominous movements drawing Nathan's gaze with a morbid fascination. As Nathan ventured further into the cursed expanse, the shadows coalesced, morphing into ghostly figures that materialized from the cursed soil. Spectral entities, embodiments of the dark curse, emerged from the land, their ghastly forms pulsating with an unearthly evil. Frozen in terror, Nathan stood amidst the haunting spectacle, paralyzed by fear and disbelief. The spectral entities encircled him, their ethereal presence suffocating and oppressive. Panic surged through Nathan's veins as he realized the gravity of the curse that now held him captive. With an ear-splitting shriek that reverberated through the desolate field, the entities surged forth, their ghostly apparitions ensnaring Nathan within their ethereal grasp. Agonizing cries echoed through the cursed expanse, a chilling lament that marked Nathan's descent into the dark abyss of Old Man Holton's curse. The cursed land had claimed its latest victim, leaving behind a harrowing testament to the relentless grip of an ancient curse. As dawn broke over Millfield, the cursed acres stood silent and desolate, a haunting reminder of the tragic fate that befell those who dared to challenge the ominous legacy of Holton's field. Story 3 In the heart of the countryside nestled the picturesque town of Willowbrook, surrounded by sprawling cornfields that whispered tales of a haunting mystery, the legend of the haunting echoes. Among the townsfolk, stories circulated of inexplicable phenomena that echoed through the rustling stalks, leaving behind an odd atmosphere that cast a shadow over the otherwise tranquil community. The legend of the haunting echoes traced back to a tragic incident that occurred decades ago. It began with the unexplained disappearance of a local farmer, Samuel Taylor, who ventured into the cornfields on a fog-shrouded night and vanished without a trace. Samuel's sudden disappearance became a chilling enigma, haunting the town for years to come. As time passed, whispers spread of strange occurrences within the cornfields. Residents reported unsettling echoes that reverberated through the stalks, an abnormal chorus that lingered in the air, faint whispers that seemed to convey cryptic messages, and an unshakable feeling of being watched amidst the rows. Among the townsfolk, superstitions mingled with curiosity, theories ranging from ghostly visitations to natural phenomena. Yet the truth behind the enigmatic echoes remained elusive, shrouded in an unsettling air of mystery. Emma Reynolds, an intrepid investigator with an insatiable thirst for unraveling unsolved mysteries, arrived in Willowbrook, drawn by the chilling tales of the haunting echoes. Determined to shed light on the mysterious phenomenon, Emma embarked on an investigation, armed with her unwavering resolve and a thirst for truth. Her exploration led her to the outskirts of the cornfields, where the towering stalks formed an intricate maze. The wind whispered through the rows, creating an ethereal ambience that seemed to carry murmurs of long-forgotten secrets. As Emma ventured deeper into the heart of the cornfields, an uncanny sensation enveloped her, an inexplicable presence that seemed to watch her every move. 
Whispers carried by the rustling leaves sounded like faint echoes of distant voices, heightening her sense of foreboding. In a moment of chilling discovery, Emma stumbled upon a clearing nestled amidst the cornstalks, a peculiar space that seemed to emit a mystical energy. Strange symbols etched into the soil caught her attention, an intricate pattern that echoed the tales of the haunting echoes. Before Emma could decipher the cryptic symbols, an unsettling phenomenon unfurled around her. The rows of corn seemed to come alive, swaying in an unnaturally synchronized motion. The air crackled within dark resonance as the echoes intensified, forming an unsettling chorus that reverberated through the night. As Emma stood amidst the haunting tableau, a sudden realization struck her. The echoes were not mere sounds, but a conduit to an ancient malevolence lurking within the cornfields. In a spine-chilling crescendo, the echoes coalesced, swirling around Emma in an ethereal dance. An unseen force seized her, enveloping her in an overwhelming grip, an icy coldness that rendered her paralyzed. In a final moment of horror, the echoes consumed Emma, their haunting resonance drowning her in an abyss of chilling whispers. The silence that followed was deafening, leaving behind only whispers of the terrifying fate that befell those who dared to probe the chilling depths of the haunting echoes. Story 4 In the heart of a rural community lay the idyllic town of Greenview, surrounded by vast expanses of cornfields that extended as far as the eye could see. Among these fields lay a shadow that tainted the serene landscape, the chilling legend of the cornfield murders. The tale of the cornfield murders haunted Greenview, an unsolved mystery that shook every resident. It began a decade ago when a series of heinous crimes transpired, all linked to the vast cornfields that define the town's landscape. The first victim, Rachel Thompson, a local school teacher, went missing on a balmy summer evening. Her disappearance sent shockwaves through the community, leaving behind only a few cryptic clues, signs of a struggle near the edge of the cornfields and faint traces of footsteps leading into the maze-like expanse. As the investigation into Rachel's disappearance commenced, a disturbing pattern emerged. More residents vanished under eerily similar circumstances. Each victim had one thing in common. They were last seen near or within the labyrinth of cornstalks that enveloped Greenview. Detective Mark Stevens, a seasoned investigator haunted by the unsolved cases, delved into the chilling enigma that plagued the town. His pursuit led him to the edge of the cornfields, a dreadful expanse that seemed to hold the secrets to the baffling disappearances. Despite exhaustive searches and relentless investigations, the maze-like nature of the cornfields defied logic, thwarting attempts to unravel the mystery. The townsfolk grew apprehensive, avoiding the fields after dark, fearful of falling prey to an elusive predator that lurked within the shadows. Sarah Wilson, a young journalist eager to unearth the truth, arrived in Greenview, drawn by the enigmatic aura surrounding the cornfield murders. As Sarah delved deeper into the town's haunting legacy, she encountered a mosaic of chilling accounts. Determined to uncover the truth, Sarah ventured into the fields, navigating the twisting paths in search of answers. The dense rows of corn towered above her, casting elongated shadows that seemed to dance in the moonlight, forming a strange tapestry. As Sarah probed further into the labyrinth, an unsettling sensation of being watched enveloped her. Faint whispers carried by the rustling leaves echoed in the silent night, as though the cornfield itself harbored a hidden darkness. In a moment of chilling revelation, Sarah stumbled upon a clearing within the cornfield marked by a grotesque sight, a circle of symbols etched into the ground. The symbols pulsated with a dark glow, casting an ominous aura that sent a tremor down Sarah's back. Before Sarah could decipher the cryptic symbols, a shadowy figure emerged from the cornrows, shattering the silence. Panic surged through her veins as she recognized the dark silhouette, its scary presence looming closer. With a sudden realization, Sarah understood the harrowing truth. The cornfield concealed a sinister entity that preyed upon unsuspecting victims, ensnaring them within its ominous depths. Before she could flee, the shadowy figure lunged forth, its ghostly apparition enveloping Sarah in an ethereal grasp. Her terrified screams pierced the night, a harrowing chorus that echoed through the silent fields before fading into a mysterious silence. As dawn broke over Greenview, 
Sarah Wilson became the latest victim claimed by the Cornfield murders, leaving behind an unsolved mystery that continued to cast its haunting shadow over the town. The labyrinth of Cornstalk stood as a grim testament to the chilling fate of those who dared to venture into its sinister embrace. Story 5 In the heart of the countryside stood the quaint town of Rockwell, encircled by vast expanses of cornfields that held a chilling secret, the legend of the cornfield cult. Whispers of a clandestine group that lurked amidst the rows, practicing rituals shrouded in secrecy, haunted the townsfolk, casting an ominous shadow over the serene community. The legend of the cornfield cult was steeped in mystery, stemming from a dark chapter in Rockwell's history. It was said to have originated generations ago, when a charismatic leader, Reverend Elijah Grant, established a fervent following, preaching doctrines of devotion to the land and the bountiful harvest it promised. The townsfolk whispered tales of sinister gatherings held within the cornfields, a secluded sect that adhered to arcane rituals beneath the moon's pale glow. Strange symbols etched into the soil and whispered incantations became the whispers of the cult's presence, leaving the townsfolk gripped by fear. Detective Mia Thompson, renowned for her unrelenting pursuit of the truth, arrived in Rockwell, drawn by the haunting rumors of the Cornfield cult. Determined to unravel the mystery, Mia embarked on an investigation. Propelled by her tenacious spirit and a commitment to uncover the chilling truth, her inquiries led her to the outskirts of the cornfields, where the whispering stalks formed an intimidating maze. The rustling leaves carried an uncanny ambience, setting the stage for a confrontation with the unknown. As Mia delved deeper into the heart of the cornfields, a sensation of being watched enveloped her. The air crackled with an unsettling energy, and the faint murmur of distant chants seemed to echo amidst the rows, heightening her sense of unease. In a chilling revelation, Mia stumbled upon a clearing nestled amidst the cornstalks, a sight that bore the unmistakable signs of the cult's clandestine activities. Strange symbols adorned the soil, remnants of eerie rituals conducted under the cloak of darkness. Before she could process the implications of her discovery, an ominous presence materialized from the shadows. A group of hooded figures emerged from the cornrows, their faces obscured by dark robes, their eyes ablaze with fervent devotion. Realizing the danger that loomed, Mia attempted to retreat, but it was too late. The cultists encircled her, their fervor fueled by unwavering devotion to their leader's teachings. In a harrowing crescendo, the cultists seized Mia, binding her in a ritual. Unearthly chants reverberated through the night, invoking an ancient force that pervaded the air, suffocating and oppressive. As Mia struggled against the cultists' grip, a chilling realization dawned upon her. The Cornfield cult was not merely a group of fanatics, but an entity that wielded a sinister influence over the land itself. In a final moment of horror, the cultists conducted their ritual, offering Mia as a sacrifice to appease the land. Her screams pierced the night before being swallowed by an ominous silence, leaving behind only whispers of the terrifying fate that awaited those who dared to confront the dark secrets of the Cornfield cult. Story 6 In the heart of the countryside stood the tranquil town of Greenleaf, enveloped by vast swaths of cornfields that held a chilling secret, the enigmatic crop circle mystery. Whispers of mysterious symbols etched into the cornfields circulated among the townsfolk, hinting at an unexplained phenomenon that left an unnatural mark on the landscape. The crop circle mystery had haunted Greenleaf for years, each intricate pattern in the cornfields a riddle that defied explanation. Tales spoke of bizarre formations appearing overnight, intricate glyphs carved into the cornstalks with uncanny precision, leaving behind an enigmatic puzzle that confounded both residents and scientists alike. Among the townsfolk, speculation ran rampant, theories ranging from extraterrestrial visitations to elaborate hoaxes. However, the truth behind the cryptic symbols remained elusive, shrouded in an unsettling air of mystery. Alexandra Evans, a determined investigative journalist, arrived in Greenleaf, drawn by the enigmatic tales of the crop circle mystery. Intrigued by the unexplained phenomenon, Alexandra set out to unravel the truth behind the weird glyphs that adorned the cornfields, armed with a relentless curiosity and a desire for answers. Her pursuit led her deep into the heart of the cornfields, 
where the towering stalks formed an intimidating maze. The evening sun cast elongated shadows, creating an ethereal ambience that added to the mystery shrouding the landscape. As Alexandra ventured further, she stumbled upon the first signs of the inexplicable phenomenon, a vast expanse of cornstalks that bore intricate patterns, forming a labyrinth of enigmatic symbols etched into the soil. The glyphs were a mesmerizing sight, their complex designs hinting at an intelligence beyond human comprehension. Alexandra meticulously examined the formations, the precision of the glyphs leaving her awestruck and unsettled simultaneously. In the twilight hours, the cornfield seemed to awaken with an uncanny presence. Faint whispers carried by the rustling leaves danced through the air, as though the fields themselves were alive with a mystical energy. Alexandra's senses tingled with an inexplicable foreboding. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, Alexandra delved deeper into the heart of the glyph-marked fields, determined to uncover the truth. The air crackled with an ethereal aura, the glyphs pulsating with an ethereal glow that intensified as she approached. In a chilling revelation, Alexandra realized the glyphs were more than mere symbols. They were a conduit, a bridge between worlds, and the catalyst for an evil-minded force lurking beneath the cornfields. As she stood amidst the mesmerizing formations, a deafening silence enveloped the fields before an unearthly resonance reverberated through the air. The glyphs began to shift and contort, an ominous transformation that heralded the descent of an ancient darkness. Before Alexandra could comprehend the danger, the glyphs released in mystic energy, ensnaring her within their eldritch grasp. An agonizing scream tore through the night as she became intertwined with the ominous force that lay dormant beneath the soil. In a final moment of horror, the glyphs sealed shut, swallowing Alexandra within their cryptic embrace. Her anguished cries echoed through the desolate fields before fading into a silence, leaving behind only whispers of the chilling fate that befell those who dared to unravel the mysteries of the crop circle glyphs.